joining us on Houston Sports Talk. We're out at the Astros Caravan with Astros outfielder LJ Hose. And LJ, exciting offseason for the Astros. They made a bunch of moves. How great is it to see some of the things that they're doing right now? Uh, it's great, you know, especially um, coming off the, the, the year we had as a team, making the jump in wins that we made. Um, just adding some veteran guys and, and helping our bullpen out and then adding Kobe Rasmus and, and the outfielders, it's going to be it's going to be tremendous. And, Evan, and actually also adding Evan Gaddis, you know, um, he, he's a guy who's hit 20-plus home runs the last couple of years. And, you know, Rasmus had some pop hits, you know, in 19, 20 home runs. And, and, and just adding that, that depth and, and that leadership that we need as a team. What do you look at as your position as things head towards uh, spring training? What are you trying to do? Where do you think you fit in? Uh, just pushing myself, making myself better. You know, I, I don't, I don't know where I, where I fit in right now. Um, just gotta go out there and just and just compete and make myself better each day, and not worry about that stuff. You know, our our job is as players is to push ourselves and make people around us better. You know, we're all playing for the Astros, we're all teammates at the end of the day. So no matter if I'm in the big leagues or in AAA or, or this guy's in the big leagues, that guy's in AAA, you know, we're all gonna be there to push each other and and make each other better because that's if we do that, the team's gonna be better, and that's the main goal is getting a world championship, and that's what we're looking forward to, and we think that we have the pieces to do that. Yeah, GM Jeff Luna just said that he thinks this team can be a above 500 team. And with the situation and in the playoffs right now, that means you're, you're competing for a wild card in the last couple of months of the season. Do you guys feel like you can do that? And what do you think it's going to take to, to make that next step? Uh, definitely, we definitely feel that way. You know, you, don't, you never want to go into a season saying, oh, we're going to we're going to lose this many games or we're going to be this in this place. We look at, we're going to compete. We're looking at, we're going to go in there and, and, and beat a lot of people. A lot of people saw last year, we're, we're a force to be reckoned with. We're, we're starting to, you know, put things together. We're starting to grow as, as players and, and get more mature, get accustomed to playing at the highest level of baseball that you can play at. And, you know, having these guys come in that are going to help us with Jed Lowry, that he's been in the playoffs. Also, Gregerson was in the playoffs. You know, just having, and then Nishak, he's been in the playoffs. You know, he, you have those veteran guys come in and, and help us out. It's, it's, it's going to help us out a lot. It's going to be tremendous. What about the Astros? One of the things that they do is with the analytics, and everybody talks about what they do that might be different. Have you learned some things, or is anything that you've, you're doing differently because of things that you've uh, worked with with them and kind of gone over uh, statistically or, or that sort of thing? Um, just going through there and playing baseball for the most part. I mean, it's, at the end of the day, it's still a game of baseball. You still got to play. And the analytic thing is just put you in a better position just to – a probable cause of them. Well, this is where likely where the guys going to hit the ball, so it's where we're going to play them. And you know, it worked out for us. You know, we we, st- we defended a lot of baseballs last year. You know, in the outfield, we ran down a lot of balls that we would, we normally wouldn't get because we had that analytics side of the things where we had the probable of where this guys going to hit the ball. So I think I think it works for us, and and it seemed to be working last year. You know, the, the jumping wins we had. So hopefully, with, with better players now, I mean, it'll take it to the next level. You have a new manager this season, AJ Hinch. Do you know much about him, and have you had a chance to talk to him yet? Uh, I've talked to AJ, um, and then I've talked to uh, – actually, my high school coach uh, played on the USA team with AJ Hinch a couple of years. Probably about, I would say, in the 90s, he played on the same USA baseball team with them. And he was just telling me, look, he's a, he's a good guy. He's a, he's a really good guy. He's something that you're going to want to go – somebody that you're going to want to go to bat for, you want to go to war for. And he was like, this guy is going to – he's going he's gonna to – Keep it straight with you. He's going to be honest and upfront with you, and you know, he's going to let you play. So he's like, just go out there in spring training and do your job and try to make an impression. What did you think of playing alongside Jose Altuve last year and the things that he was able to do? I mean, his year was tremendous. I mean, you, you can't ask for a better year than that. To hit 340-something and lead the league and, and, and hitting, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. To see somebody at 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and the way he was going about his business, the way he was competing every day, the way he was carrying his team pretty much, and... You know, he, he's a tremendous baseball player, and I only think be- the better things are, are coming towards him. You know, I think he works so hard as a, as a player to make himself better each day. So, you know, I, like I said, Astros fans have to be excited. He's young. I mean, he's 25 years, 24, 25 years old. I mean, they, he could possibly be here for the next 10 to 13 years. So, I mean, just having him and watching him get better each day and get better each year, I mean, it's, it's, it's something fun to watch. You only got a chance for a couple of months. The Astros fans only got a chance for a couple of months, too, to see George Springer in the outfield. How good is George Springer? Uh, I've known George for the last couple of years. Well, I've known George since high school, um, actually. But the last couple of years, I mean, just seeing George put up the numbers he put up in minor leagues and, and doing the things he's doing, I mean, he's going to be a superstar. I was telling Adam Jones the other day, uh, the Orioles center fielder, I was like, hey, watch out. This guy's coming. Like, this guy is really, really good. I mean, the raw power is there. The speed's there. The arm's there. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a really great player. He's going to. Be exciting. He's going, to, he's going to do great things for his team this year, and I'm just excited to see him actually have a full season in the major leagues. 
How did you know him from high school? What's the connection? Uh, just travel ball, stuff like that. Um, we played against each other in all-star games and stuff like that. And then, you know, he went to Connecticut. And then uh, a couple years ago, we actually played the same Arizona Fall League team, me, him, and Singleton. So it was like I was with the Orioles at the time, so it was crazy. And I ended up getting traded over to here and playing with those guys. And, you know, those are some of my best buddies, you know. And then being able to come up with those guys, be able to play with Springer and Singleton in the big leagues is something that we all dreamed about and couldn't have asked for. Line up uh, this season, lots of power. What is that going to mean to the offense? Do you think uh, for the for this team? Uh, it's great. I mean, because you got guys like Altuve who want to get on base all the time. Um, you know, Jed Lowry's going to get on base. Um, you, know, you got CC. You got Springer. You got you know Matt Dominguez. You got uh, Rasmus. You got Evan Gaddis. You got guys who hit the ball at the ballpark. So. You know, as some of the other guys now, you don't have to do too much as much as you're trying to hit the ball at the ballpark. You can just be yourself and get on base and, and try to score and do other things to create havoc for the defense. So that, that even then, when that pitcher, you're on first or second base and you're out there creating havoc, he might make he might make a bad pitch and help those big boppers out and, and get them a good pitch to hit, and then they might do some damage with it. What is LJ Hose doing the off season? What have you been working on? What are you doing? What are your hobbies? What kind of stuff do you do be- besides uh, baseball? I've been, I've been living in San Diego um, with Adam Jones, and I've been working out with him. Um, that's like my be- my best friend, my big brother. So, I've been out there with him for the most part, and uh, going to the beach every day after we work out and stuff, and just hanging out. But you know, being around him and being out there, just to be able to talk to him and, and pick his brain about the major league lifestyle and and getting somewhere and and, and it's really establishing myself at, at this level and. You know, and he's teaching, teaching me the ins and outs of everything and, and how to prepare myself every day and make myself ready to play every day. Is there anything specifically that you're working on on your game or it's just stuff in general? Everything for the most part. You know, I had, a, I had a down year last year. I didn't play the way I wanted to play, especially after getting traded over and having some success for, you know, the two and a half months I was here in 2013 and then having the down year last year. I'm just want to get back to basics and get back to myself and get back to the player I, I was. You know, last year I came in trying to do too much and trying to, you know, impress a lot of people where I didn't, I mean, I didn't have to do that. That's not my, play. I got back to playing my game, you know, just re- relaxing and playing my game. Astros outfitter, LJ Hose on the Astros Caravan. Pleasure to have you with us and, and good luck this season. Uh, thank you for joining, having me on. And, um, thank you for the good luck. <laughs> joining us on Houston Sports Talk is Houston Astro Robbie Grossman. We're on the caravan. We're at Chick-fil-A out in Sugarland and, uh, I saw a guy with a Robbie, a kid with a Robbie Grossman jersey. Was that a plant? Did you did you did you bring a, your own kid in there? Really nice. To, it must must be really nice to see a guy with a, a kid with a Robbie Grossman jersey. Yeah, uh, actually, I know that kid because he's from Cyprus, and uh, <laughs> he comes out everywhere we go. Him and his uh, his family, his dad and his sister, and uh, they're awesome. They've always been supportive of me, and uh, couldn't think of more. How nice is it? Is it Cy Fair graduate, Cy, former Cy Fair Bobcat? to be out in the community representing the Houston Astros, your, your hometown team. That was great. Uh, tomorrow I'll be in Cyprus, and uh, I get to go back from where it all started. Tell me about when you were at Cy Fair. Did you even dream of, of playing for the Astros? Was, was that a dream? Was that something that you, you were thinking about? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's all I wanted to do when I was growing up was play in the big leagues. And uh, I grew up an Astros fan. I grew up watching Craig Biggio play. And he was my idol. And uh, I just wanted to be I wanted to be him when I grew up. And uh, I'm here playing for the Astros. It's, it's pretty it's pretty cool. Have you had a chance to be around Craig a little bit and talk with him? What, what's it been like to kind of be able to kind of talk to one of your boyhood idols? Well, first of all, it's, it's awesome that he made the Hall of Fame. And uh, he deserves every bit of that. Uh, and, and I got to, I got, I got to see him the, talk to him the first day, actually, when I got traded over here. And... Uh, He's just a great, great human being. Obviously, an even better ball player, and uh, couldn't say much more about it. Does he have any advice to give you, or you just kind of talk to him about? No, he just, just has have fun. This is only a game. At the end of the day, it's only a game, and uh, just go out there and play hard, and that's all. That's all you can control. Tell me about this past season and where you feel like you are going into this training camp, and also with the addition of of these other outfielders. It's going to be a fight. To, to get a spot on the Astros roster. They've brought in some new guys. How do you feel about where you are at this point? I feel good. Uh, at, 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 there's a lot of baseball we played, and uh, it, at the end of the day, it's still a game. And whoever plays the best is going to win the job. That's how it's going to be. And uh, I'm excited to go down to Florida and, uh, and start getting after it. 
What did you feel like you really needed to work on after this past season? What did you try to improve upon? Well, I just had such a bad start in the last couple of years, and uh, I really try to adjust my off-season program to try to try to jump my start myself instead of having a lull in the beginning of the season and uh, kind of hold me back. The new manager, have you had a chance to talk with uh, Coach Hinch, and what are your thoughts about after talking to him? And, and has he said anything to you as well? No, I just said hello. Uh, I see him every, almost every day when he's at the field, and uh, we just talk baseball and enjoy ourselves. With all these new additions, it feels like the Astros, for the first time in a long time, can really contend or be a above 500 team and and that's what GM Jeff Luno said what does that mean to your thinking and, and the rest of the players thinking as you go into this season oh yeah for sure uh we, there's no doubt that everyone on that team doesn't think we're gonna win we, we think we're gonna win every single game that's how you have to be and especially last year we were in almost every game that we played and uh we made some great additions in but it's still a game you have to go out there and play and, and score more runs than other team. You've seen the Astros organization as well throughout the organization in the minor leagues. Tell me how much talent you feel like is, is there. I mean, how loaded do you feel like the, the, the minor leagues are at this point? All the guys I play with in the minor leagues are gone because for now. But uh, uh, it's, they, they got some good players, uh, some really young players. And, of course, like the Car- Carlos Correa's of the world and, and Mark over here, they're, they're going to be special players, and I uh, can't wait to see them in Houston. Well, it's Houston Astros, uh, Robbie Grossman, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Don't forget, you can now listen to Houston Sports Talk weekly on 106.1 FM Tuesdays at 5 p.m., and you can hear more of our interviews at HoustonSportsTalk.net. Subscribe for free to our podcast on iTunes or with the Stitcher app.